My deep interest in RIT's history, and especially the almost unbelievable tale of its now being honored for a full century of cooperative education. This unique experience, rising first from the larger community, differs from the usual centrality of a college or university first being formed to initiate and lead programs of cooperative education as a joint endeavor of college and business corporations. And the continuing importance of that field, cooperative education, not alone for RIT, but for higher education as a whole in a long and vital model. You know, RIT basically has a reputation for finding jobs or graduate schools for students who graduate. And in fact, about 93% of our students have either jobs or are going to graduate school full time just months after graduation. Many of the students today are going to school because they want to uh, be able to uh, have a better life. They want to be able to enter a profession, uh, a field where they can earn an income and support a family. And the new education is valuable. And co-op experience gives them that inside track. When you think of RIT, you think of co-op education. It affects virtually every discipline within the institution. And I think it attracts a certain type of student who knows they're going to get some valuable work experience. The fact that our students really want to get their hands dirty, they want to do the real stuff, they want to go out in industry as soon as possible, learn how things are really done. Well, I think a big part of the reason for that success is the co-op program and the experience that our students get out in the real world. It facilitates the transition from student into the active work life. It is the most valuable experience that students can have. There's a history of co-op students uh, rising all the way to the top of their companies. I think in large part because of the uh, management orientation they had as students, which they then were able to incorporate into the coursework that they took, and each one uh, reinforced the other. The student knows something of that workplace, the philosophy of the employer, and in turn, the employer knows the work habits, the knowledge base of the student. It also, of course, has the added benefit of enlarging our faculty to include business executives and engineers and scientists, creative artists all around the country who help to mentor our students as they progress through their educational programs. Those co-op assignments are not, uh, in, you know, sort of unpaid internships where students, you know, are very happy to put their time in and gain some experience. Uh, these are uh, jobs where the starting salary uh, for a co-op student uh, exceeds sometimes the, the average salary of non-co-op students uh, in, in, in similar fields. The other aspect of co-op is the feedback the institution gets when the students come back from their co-op experience. They bring back with them not only the enthusiasm for, for their experience, but also there's a feedback of information that's reflected in the classroom and laboratories. And the nice thing from my perspective is that the, the faculty have to stay current because the students come back from these experiences knowing how it's really done in the real world. The RIT co-op program has changed over the years. Increasingly, we're looking for international co-op experiences for our students. Uh, increasingly, we're faced with global competition uh, as a country. And our firms, our companies, our organizations have to be globally competitive. Uh, we just don't automatically lead the world now. We have to compete with the world. Co-op students uh, have, an, ha have, have an edge in the sense that they understand a little bit more about the real world. They can bring that into their classroom. And that makes them a better person going forward. Uh, uh, Co-op is, is not easy to establish. A number of universities have tried uh, a version of co-op. Uh, and they find out that, first of all, you have to have companies who know you, believe in you, and will send their recruiters there. And RIT has, what, 3,500 uh, companies that recruit here. The careful selection of co-op employers and then careful review of the student's experience. And again, the RIT co-op focused on the student experience, not the numbers that we placed, 
but rather how valuable was that experience for the student. It's remarkable uh, how many uh, uh, CEOs uh, that you we that I interact with uh, talk about the co-op program. I remember one in particular from IBM. Uh, the IBM executive I was talking to was absolutely astounded at the work ethic of the students, and secondly, their knowledge and their ability to fit into the IBM work experience. They, uh, they were highly, highly uh, complimentary. You know, last year I visited Toyota on my trips around the country. And I learned that Toyota hires more students from RIT than they do from any other university. And I asked them, you know, why do they go after RIT students so enthusiastically? And their answer was, well, you know, RIT students are true gearheads. <laughs> and I think that to some extent, that says a lot about our co-op program. There's a case at RIT, a situation at RIT. This is a student. Microsoft had a special program. They, they selected six of the top people in the country uh, to, to interview. And uh, he was one of them. The other five were from Stanford, MIT, and the Ivy Schools. After the first day, four were invited back for a second day. After the second day, two were invited back for a third day. After the third day, one was invited to meet with Bill Gates. That was our student. So as you can see, co-op excites me. And again, I want to congratulate RIT 100 years for a program which defines RIT in so many good ways. I believe that this will be a, 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 a joyful time, not alone for the faculties and uh, other staffs of uh, RIT, uh, but uh, this will also loop over into the greater Rochester area uh, because that was always sort of the framework uh, which was first to practice and, and put to work uh, uh, new ideas and innovations when it came to cooperative education. Congratulations to RIT for one of its signature programs, the Cooperative Education Program, on its 100th anniversary. So congratulations, RIT Co-op. You're the best, and we're so proud of you. Happy 100th birthday. <laughs>